Hello friends, Radhika Ravikuma here. In this tutorial, we'll see how we can get the length of a particular string that we enter. Okay, so usually we all know that we can use a function called length in order to get the, you know, the length of a string by using this length function like this. So it's very simple, right? So what if you face a challenge like you shouldn't use this length function and in spite of this length function you should be getting the length of a string how do you do that so that that is what i'm going to teach you in this uh, tutorial how we can write an anonymous plsql block in order to get the length of a string without using the length function okay so now let us start so first declare and i'm going to use certain um, variables over here one variable I'm going to use it as word and this is going to be of uh, var care where this is going to fetch the um, the string from the user okay so let me just say like this and then my next variable is going to be count so this is going to count the um, number of uh, each character in that string okay count of a word is going to be fetched by this variable called count underscore w and this is going to be of number type and I'm going to initialize this count variable to zero okay and then I'm going to use another one variable called temp and this is going to be of var char which is going to fetch each uh, character from the string uh, like this so I'm going to just uh, give var char of one for this and I'm going to use another one variable called i which is going to point to each character at particular point of time okay and I'm going to initialize this as well to one so these are the variables that we are going to use then let me begin in begin I'm going to start the loop over here then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say temp is equal to I'm going to use a function called substring okay and this substring what it's going to do is I'm going to give the word here then I'm going to say i and 1 so we all know that i is nothing but 1 so it's going to point to the first letter of the string whatever I'm going to give and the first letter so only for example if I'm giving an input as um, word okay just think that I'm giving an input as word then I want to know what are the what is the length of the word so first it's going to fetch w then we will be incrementing this i then it's going to go to o then it's going to go to r so that's how it's going to fetch this letter and it's going to give that to the temp variable okay so that is what the substring function does I hope I've already done tutorial on substring as well so you can go and check it out or else you can even google out what this substring function does and uh, then you can look into this program so you can have a better understanding on that then I'm going to check if this temp is null or not so I'm going to say if temp is not null then I'm going to get into this if uh, uh, if condition that is um, sorry if body that is I'm going to say if count w should be I'm going to increment this count of w so that it can go to the next letter then say plus one okay because I'm incrementing else if this temp is null then what you do just exit from the program okay then end the if as well and uh, increment this i as we have given this uh, you know word we need to keep incrementing right so just say i plus one okay then end the loop as well then i'm going to print the what is the length of the string so that is dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and I'm going to give count underscore w okay then end this as well so this is done so let me save this program and run it let me just give Radhika yeah 
you can see the PLS code procedure successfully completed and it's giving us the what is the length of the string without using the length function so this is how you will be writing it let me give some other word, word like Radhika Ravi by giving a space so for that also we are getting the length of that particular string so hope you guys have um, understood and I guess uh, you guys will get benefited by this program I guess most of the time in um, in uh, interviews they ask this kind of uh, questions where they ask you to write a program without using certain functions they so at that time this becomes a challenging thing so hope this program will be uh, useful for you guys whoever is attending the interviews fine then um, keep um, liking my tutorials and also subscribe to my channel and keep sharing my uh, channel with your other friends and family and keep supporting thank you very much for watching